Hello, 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 and welcome back to Notes from Nancy. Tonight, I have a video for you on fried cabbage. So we are going to hop right into it. To get started, you're going to need cabbage, you're going to need bell pepper, onion, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, a little chicken broth for the end process, um, turkey, well, this is not turkey, That that's actually a um, kielbasa sausage, um, some bacon, and then the semi-star of the show tonight will be some red pepper flakes. So, I'm going to go ahead and get prepped, and I'll be right back to get started cooking. Okay, so I'm going to start by showing you how I cut the cabbage. So I start by going down the sides and basically getting flat pieces and you're cutting around the core that's in there and I'll show it to you in just a second because you don't want to eat that middle part. So you're cutting around this and this right here I just discard. So you're going to put this, this part in the trash. Now, after that's done, when I'm doing fried cabbage, I like to cut my cabbage into little strips. So, like so. So, the little strips, they're about this big, and that's just my preference. So, as I cut those, I'm going to place them in the bowl. Now, I rinsed the cabbage before I started. But I actually um, like to wash my cabbage after I've cut it up. So once it's cut up, I will take it to the sink and rinse it off really, really well. Um, and I just like to do that because I feel like once it has, um, once I've cut it, uh, I can just clean it better. So that's my preference. So we're going to get the rest of this cut up and then I'll be back. Alright, now that our cabbage is prepped, we're going to go ahead and prep our um, bell pepper. So, with the bell pepper, I just do kind of a rough chop on it. Nothing fancy. And I'm using one medium-sized bell pepper. And it, it's going to render down nicely. And like I said, it's just for uh, a little bit of flavor. Now, pe some people like color. If this is where you like color, then feel free to use red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, uh, orange bell peppers. All of that is just going to make your dish that much more beautiful. Uh, for me personally, um, I just kind of like green bell pepper. Uh, sometimes I'll use the red ones and yellow ones in my uh, pasta salad, but... Uh, typically, these are um, the ones that I'm going to use. So, once I get this rough chop on these peppers done, then I'm going to come over and do the onion. Now, this is a piece of an onion. So, this onion was really, really large. And as you can see, I've already used pieces off of it. I typically do that. Um, if I don't use up a whole onion, then I will take and uh, cut pieces off. And this one, I'm actually still not going to use the whole thing. So I'm only going to use about this much. So this would be the equivalent to maybe one small onion. Again, the onion's just there for a little bit of taste. And we're going to bump that up with onion powder anyway. So it's still going to be more than enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and do basically a rough little chop on that. Again, these don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be um, finely chopped or anything like that. Because we're going to render them down in some bacon fat. Uh, or bacon grease <laughs> in just a minute. So, after I get these chopped up. And put in a bowl. I'll be back um, to render that bacon. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep 
the sausage. Again, this is a kielbasa um, sausage. You can use, for those of you who don't like pork, don't eat pork, you can substitute whatever sausage you want here. You can substitute a turkey sausage. You can substitute a beef sausage. Um, it's really, it, it, it'll alter the flavor a little bit, but this is one of uh, those dishes that you just make to appease your taste. So I'm using pork, you know, this and then the bacon, but you can use turkey sausage and you can use turkey bacon if that's what you want to do. Now, if I was doing a boiled cabbage, I would actually be using, um, turkey wings, smoked turkey wings, smoked turkey necks, and my favorite are smoked turkey tails. So if I was doing a boiled cabbage, the meat choices would be just slightly different. So, um, it's just to your preference. So I'm going to finish cutting this. And then the next clip you will see will be of me in the skillet and getting ready to render um, that bacon down so we can get that nice bacon grease uh, to serve as the base for our fried cabbage. All right, so I am back. Um, I've taken four pieces of bacon. Now, some people like to go ahead and fry their bacon whole and then break it up. For me, I prefer to take a pair of kitchen shearers and just cut my bacon up before I uh, cook it. It's just easier for me because, like I said, this is a flavor enhancer. I really want this grease. I'll put the pieces of bacon in back in toward the end. But I just prefer not to do mine this way versus breaking it up after it's done. Don't ask me why. Now, while I was off camera, I actually went ahead and prepped the other things that will go with this fried cabbage tonight. So we are having just some simple oven barbecue chicken. Uh, so you just bake it down. I'm doing chicken thighs tonight. So I just seasoned it up a little bit with a little uh, slap your mama seasoning. So that's one of my favorite seasonings. And stuck it in the oven covered um, on 400. And so I'll cook that for about 30 minutes. Then I'll take it off and put barbecue sauce, take it out and put barbecue sauce on it and uh, then cook it for probably about another 10 or 15 minutes. And then in addition to that, I am making a little bit of potato salad. So I'll eventually share all of those recipes with you. Um, tonight's feature is of course the cabbage. So that is what I'm going to be focused on. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've turned the burner on and I'm gonna let this start cooking down and then we'll be back. So the bacon is starting to render down and become crispy. So what's happening, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you're starting to, it's starting to get this brown crust um, on the bottom of the pan. And that is what you want. That is the beginning part of the flavor that's going to be infused into this um, fried cabbage. When I cook, it's all about building flavors on top of flavors. Like, and when I say flavor, I don't mean salt. I literally mean flavor. So you'll see with this particular dish, because I'm using bacon, I'm using sausage, you won't actually see me put that much salt into this dish um, because I'll also be using some chicken broth that will be low sodium uh, shortly. So I'm going to finish letting this fry. Now I have about two tablespoons of butter right here uh, that I'm going to put in to just help coat the pan. Again, butter makes everything better. Uh, in, in, in the South it does. I'll tell you that. In Alabama it does. Uh, butter makes everything just that much better. So I am going to let this, let that butter melt down and then I am going to let this finish rendering and then we'll add in the 
peppers followed by the onions and um we'll add in the sausage followed by the onions and bell pepper now i'm not going to keep this in this pan once it renders down like it's doing now and i got that nice crust in there i'm actually going to take this bacon out if you leave the bacon in there while you're doing the rest of the process it'll get kind of chewy so i'll add this bacon in back in toward the end of the cooking process all right so we're down to just the oil so if you take a peek over in there it's uh the the bacon grease and the butter and so i have taken those little bacon pieces out here they are uh and i'm just going to sit those to the side for now see how nice and crispy they are um and already my house is smelling great because hey there are very few things in life that smell better than bacon cooking okay now i'm gonna go ahead and saute these onions and peppers down and i'm just using that oil from the bacon fat and butter uh, and i'm not going to add any more oil right now because once i put that sausage in there it's going to uh render down and some oil is going to come out of it as well so you don't want you want fried cabbage but you don't want greasy cabbage so you just have to be mindful about what it's a big piece of pepper sorry cut that down a little bit so it's not so big but yeah you just render these down and they're starting to be really beautiful and as i'm stirring i'm scraping those remnants out of the bottom of this pan um and again that's where all of your flavor lies uh for this dish so these are starting to get kind of tender because as you can see i am just cutting them with my spoon need to check my potatoes real quick they're not quite ready for the potato salad so now i'm going to add in that sausage and like i told you you'll see the grease that this will uh, generate in just a minute so i'm just going to stir this in And I'm going to let this cook down for about five minutes and I'll be back. So I'm back and just take a peek at how beautiful these peppers, um, onions, and sausage have gotten. Um, all of that goodness that was on the bottom has been soaked up. Um, and then you can see the oil in the pan. That's what I was telling you about the sausage kind of generating its own oil so now we are at the point where we can add in our cabbage so the thing about cabbage is it shrinks down so if you look i have a good bit of cabbage it looks like a lot it's like a colander full um don't know if you can really see that but yeah it's like a colander full um, but it is going to shrink down uh, because cabbage is mostly water. So I'm just going to pile this in like so. 
And that's why I use a really big uh, skillet. And this is a this is that medium head of cabbage you saw uh, in the intro, and then it's also a really small head of cabbage I had um, that I didn't want to go bad, so I just went ahead and cut that up. So whatever I have left, I'll just put in a freezer bag, but I'm going to try to get it all down in there. Because like I said, once it steams down, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to put it all in there. And then once it, once it steams down a little bit, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put this on. I am going to put its top on. And I'm just going to put that there for about five minutes and then we'll come back. And if I haven't told you, I've done this entire thing on medium heat. So the entire cooking process is done on medium heat. So we are going to let this cook down for about five minutes and I'll be right back. So it's been about five minutes. And if you look in this top, you see that it's starting to kind of steam. That's that water that's in the cabbage starting to just evaporate. So now what you want to do is take the cabbage that's on the bottom and start flipping it over so that all of it can be exposed to that heat and start sweating. Now once I get it all kind of cooked down, then I'm going to start the seasoning process. Um, I prefer to let the cabbage get a little bit softer uh, before I start the um, seasoning process. So flip that over and get it all in there. Trying to get it all coated with that nice oil and juices that have come from that pep from the peppers, the onions, the sausage, that butter. So I am going to put the top on it and let it go for another five minutes and then I'll be back. And we are back. It's been about five minutes or so. So I'm gonna go in one more time and stir it down. So if you see, you're starting to see what I was talking about, how it was way up here when I first started and now it has started to render down and steam. So at this time, I'm about to go in and start with my seasonings. So the first thing is going to be some black pepper. So I just sprinkle a generous amount of black pepper. I'm going to go in with a little bit of onion powder. And yes, all of my spices and stuff like that are great value. I like great value. There are some things, so that's onion powder. There are some things that I'm just kind of like, oh, I have to have the name brand. I have to have the name brand. And then there are other things where I'm like, nah, it doesn't even matter. So uh, sometimes my spices, you know, are one of those things so this is a little bit of garlic powder now some people like to put fresh garlic in their cabbage I don't like 
uh, for that garlic to be that prevalent. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder in mine. Now the secret, the star of the show is red pepper flakes, okay? Red pepper flakes. For your fried cabbage, you have got to put red pepper flakes. Now, I don't like super spicy food, so I'm doing it for the flavor. So I sprinkle, and it's going to give it just a little bit of heat. So just a little bit of heat. So now I'm going to go in, and I'm going to stir all of those spices. Now, if you notice, I still have not put salt in it just yet. Because all of that salt from the uh, meat is in there. So I still haven't put salt in just yet. But I'm about to go in with a little bit of salt. And looking at this right now, I can tell that I want to add a little bit more pepper um, to this. There's a certain look I'm going for, so I kind of know when I have enough based on looking. And I'm going to taste it in a minute, but I can kind of eyeball it and tell when I'm almost at that perfect spot. Look how beautiful that cabbage is. Just look at it. Look how gorgeous. So we're going to let that fry down a little bit more and I'll be back in just a minute um, to add that salt and then we're going to put in just a little bit of the chicken broth and we're, we're going to be almost ready to eat. So we are almost ready to eat y'all. I'm going to take the top off of this while I was off camera. I went in the oven. I checked uh, my barbecue chicken. Well, I added the sauce to my chicken. So I am going to let that uh, kind of cook down and simmer for about 10 minutes. Um, and then I'm going to make my potato salad and it's going to be time to eat. So let's check on our cabbage. Ooh. All right. Look at that gorgeous color. Now, some people will say it's not it's not fried cabbage if you add chicken broth. It's not fried cabbage if you add chicken broth. Look, this is my recipe. This is how I like to do it. So it's fried cabbage because I said it was. But real quick, I am going to taste a little bit so I can try and see about how much salt. I need to add to it um, and again cooking is about taste you're gonna have to taste it um, so I am going to go ahead and let this cool off That's good, y'all. That red pepper gave it just the kick it needs. So I'm going to go in and sprinkle just a little bit of salt. Stir that in. Y'all, I'm almost tempted. That is so gorgeous. Now, this is the low sodium organic chicken broth from Aldi. Uh, it is 
my chicken broth of choice. It's the one that I like. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. So, so y'all don't crucify me. So y'all don't crucify me. I'm going to use a measuring cup. So I'm gonna go in with about a half a cup of broth. With a half a cup of broth. And again, that's just going to help add a little bit of flavor to the dish. I don't want it to steam. And honestly, at this point, y'all, we are done. Um, we are completely done with our cabbage so I am just going to kind of turn it off and kind of let all of those flavors mesh and the next time you see this it'll be on the plate okay y'all I know I said the next time you saw this it would be on a plate but I almost forgot to go back and add my bacon so now the next time you see this it'll be on a plate I'm just gonna toss that bacon in there it was nice and crispy from when we cooked it toss that bacon in there and now the next time you see it it'll be on a plate <clears throat> So guys, here is the final product of my fried cabbage. Um, this is a super, super easy dish. It only takes really about 30 minutes from start to finish. And then you have a great little meal, uh, weeknight meal, or even a Sunday meal for your family. So uh, here's the final clip um, of what our actual Sunday dinner looked like. It was uh, barbecue chicken with the fried cabbage and, um, a little potato salad. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe. And if you like what you see and you want to, uh, keep seeing videos, be sure to share, um, and tell your friends, uh, about me. And until next time, thank you so much.